welcome my fellow nerds and masochists because if you are using Unreal Engine, you are definitely a masochist. Man, but those effects that Unreal gives is amazing. Anyways, I recently jumped back into Unreal Engine 5. I'm currently using 5.5 um, and a lot has changed. A lot has changed in two years. So in this particular video, we're going to retarget and we're going to uh, move a character from Daz over to Unreal Engine. If you already don't know, you need a plug in for that. It's called Daz to Unreal. I do have a video of that and that all that still applies. So I do not need to uh, reiterate or rehash on how to do that. Just watch that video so that you can have the newest and most up to date plugin from Daz to Unreal, which I believe is something like 4.5 and some odd numbers or whatever. It'll still work in 5.5 in the Daz, uh, sorry, in, in the Unreal. So that's great. And let's go ahead and get into this. So a lot has changed and it's all for the better. A lot has changed. So much has changed. It used to be very complicated to get a retargeted character from Daz to Unreal Engine. And there was a heap of hurdles that you had to do. Anyways, so in this particular, uh, I already have my, in, in this scene, I already have my model. I just got some clothing on her so that YouTube doesn't strike me. So it, we're going to do file, send to Daz to Unreal. Now, I already did this, but I will show you my settings. Uh, you can have your morphs if you want. I took them off. They changed a lot about the morphs too. Oh my lord, it's so much easier to get morphs into Unreal Engine with David's uh, plugin that he did, which I will leave a description on that in the video below. Now, a lot of this, what I'm doing in this video, uh, a lot of it is like 95% of it is also done by WP Guru, Jay. Uh, I'll leave his description in the video below just in case you're using an older plugin. If you're using the Daz, uh, Daz to Unreal plugin straight from the Daz store, follow his uh, guide because that's the way you still have to do it. This is only for the newer plugins, the most recent one that uh, David put out. So go ahead and export that, click OK, and it'll start doing its thing. It might take a minute, it might take two minutes, whatever. And then we got to go over here to Unreal Engine, which unfortunately you can't see. So let me go ahead. This menu pops up for me. So the Epic Skeleton, which is what I had checked up there, it'll come up with this. And this also works with Geograph. So uh, I imported a character with both Breath Sacular and Golden Palace on this Genesis 9 model that I have currently. So. Uh, Currently, Epic Skeleton only works for Genesis 9, according to David, so keep that in mind. You can't do this with a Genesis 8 character, sorry. Uh, he is working on that, though. He did mention in his Discord. When it comes out, who knows? But anyways, uh, we have a couple options. We got New or Merge. I haven't tried New yet. I did do Merge, and I said Merge All. And we're going to go ahead and commit to that. And as soon as it's done, I will move all of my Unreal stuff over here, like so. You'll get this. No biggie, no worries. Just go ahead and hit the X button, just like that. All right, so what we want is to have the playable, playable character. So currently, this is the character that I have selected for it right now, and we're gonna change that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into, where are you at? Third person, blueprints, and right now it's this character right here. So we load that in. And this is what it comes up with. This is the event graph. We got construct and we also have viewport. We're going to have to go to viewport. But before I go to viewport, I am going to first get rid of this mesh right here. So that you, you don't get to see bums and stuff, right? So let's go ahead and delete that. Actually, this do happen though. Let's go to viewport. You see that there's nothing there. Now, the reason why there's nothing there is because I have this mesh invisible. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get everything to what you are seeing. So this is what you're probably seeing right now. So we're going to go ahead and select this right here. We're going to uh, click add. And this is all, this was all done by Jay. There's only like a couple tweaks that you got to do for the newest version, which makes it even easier because you don't even have to make blueprints. So we're going to go to skeleton, uh, skeletal mesh, click. Okay. I'm just going to name it, um, um, cool because it doesn't really matter. And as you can tell, it is under this mesh right here. So if you go ahead and you click on that skeletal mesh, you'll see over here some stuff. 
Now, the mesh that we want to use is this one right here. So, as you can tell, it's right there, but it's not doing the animation or anything, but that'll come in time. So, and this is the part where it deviates from what WP Guru did because he made his own blueprint and his own thing and just tied it all in together. In this particular one, all you got to do is just click over here. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That's not it. That's not it. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Boop. 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 Where's my animation? Oh, God. I done broke it. There we go. Animate class. And then we're going to go to Quinn because the female version is Quinn. A, B, P, Quinn. Now, if you're using the male version, you'll want to do them. Uh, want to do Manny because Manny is, well, more male version. Then you just click on that and bam. Now, as you can tell, we still have the other mesh, this one right here. And that's why mine was invisible. You just go to this and then you just click it so it doesn't get rendered. And then we compile. Now, let's go ahead and hop out of here. Hit the play button and bam. We're now running around with the Daz character in Unreal Engine. Genesis 9. And like I said, you can also use uh, GeoGraphs now too. That got implemented so much easier now. I'm really enjoying. Uh, now they can only work on the male versions because those are a bigger pain. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, you fellow masochists of Unreal Engine learners. I will catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.